الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله the question was asked how many of hours uh, how many hours of sleep should a serious student of knowledge have in a night and day on average jazakum allah khairan may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless this brother uh, with a class with the bat and on the sabila mu'minin and the sabila talib al ilm and may allah bless us all with this a beautiful that beautiful path and bless us to traverse the path where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said with regards to this path Qala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi ilman sahala lahu lahu tariqan ila jannah That whoever traverses the path of knowledge Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi ilman sahala lahu lahu tariqan ila jannah then Allah will make easy for him the path of paradise. So traversing that path of ilm, Allah will make easy for that person paradise. And the Salaf used to say, Talib al-ilm, Talib al-jannah. Seeking knowledge is seeking paradise because it's an act of ibadah. Because you're seeking knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen to come closer to Allah. Make sure your intention, this is with the correct intention. If your intention is to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your intention is to share the knowledge with your brothers and sisters, your intention is to ra raise your community up and do khair, then you'll be rewarded from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As far as sleep, sleep in general, unfortunately, to a greater or lesser extent is almost not in contradiction to the Talib al-Ilm but it is something which is very difficult for the serious student of knowledge to have the full sleep that they require eight hours, ten hours, whatever it is depending on the individual every individual is different so we cannot say you need four hours, you need five hours, you need six hours absolutely cannot you can't even say on average you might say the average person requires it's probably six to eight hours of sleep but this would go back to the people of of the sciences uh, uh, you know the people of of of, of, uh, of science who know about the body what it requires and the different factors and variables involved in sleep and proper sleep and the various types of sleep so the point being a habit of Allah is generally it this comes back to the individual but it but the most important thing is the barakah in your time, is the blessing in the time that you do spend. I personally, myself, because of my immensely busy schedule, and I'm busy with so many projects, teaching as my job, doing uh, all kind of other projects outside, and working on my PhD. And I don't give any of it its hawk. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So I'm over here and scattered. But what I notice sometimes, especially with a PhD, which is very uh, a big trial, you need to read a lot, you need to research a lot and do and, and, and think a lot, you need time to write, you need to edit, you need many, many things. I find that sometimes Allah just puts, sometimes in one hour, I'll have immense baraka sometimes. Sometimes I can spend all day, as you see my books, trying to find one issue, and I don't find it. I can't even find the correct book. I'm looking through books. I can literally spend one hour looking and not even know the books that I have in here. So that's a test because you don't have the luxury of making tafara of just being a student of knowledge or just doing research or whatever the case may be. So the most important thing is the barakah in your time. And as our Imam, our Shaykh used to say, Shaykh Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah Yarhamu, he used to say, and this is comes from a statement I believe of one of the Salaf. Talib al Ilm, lem 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 yati Talib al Ilm fi rahat al Jizid, or kama qala Shaykh, that. See, uh, a person does not attain knowledge 
by being comfortable. That's the that's the point. Those imams, all those great mashayikh that you can think of, none of them achieved and attained their status by just sleeping their way to scholarship. But rather, it comes through sacrifice. Why the other people are out enjoying playing football and enjoying with their families and this, they were in their mektaba, memorizing, reciting. This is the life of the student of knowledge, especially uh, in the early stages or stages where you're very vigilant in your, your knowledge. Then other responsibilities come in your life and you don't have the same luxury. But if you have the luxury, and it's luxury, to make tafarraq like those students in the univers Islamic universities, those students that live in the uh, villages where they can study the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or they study in an institute, wherever they study and do talib al ilm and they don't have to work, it's paid for by someone else, or they have a scholarship, or they've saved money, or people outside send them money. However, they have their means and their rizq, but they're able to devote their time to Talib al ilm that's a luxury. And the most important thing is seeking to have barakah, blessings in your time, making use of your time. And there's many students of knowledge that have attained great status, and they would be better to ask on how much they sleep. But what I know that's a common thread from asking Mashaikh and seeing serious students of knowledge in Yemen and Saudi Arabia and so forth is that they made use of all their time. And I can definitely say this, especially in places like Yemen, because they had less distractions. They didn't have time to go to Pizza Hut and McDonald's and stuff like this. They didn't have a McDonald's and they didn't have a Pizza Hut. They just, <laughs> just were serious, walking around with Bukhari and Muslim and just asking people, what hadith do you know? Give me the isnad and give me the hadith. You know, this is the way of busying yourself with khair. On your way, learning a new dua and implementing it throughout your day. So this puts barakah in your time. And this uh, is how we can best benefit from our time. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. I hope that was uh, useful.